Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to solve problem number 1027, longest arithmetic subsequence. First, we'll see the explanation of the problem statement, then the logic on the code. Now let's dive into the solution. So in this problem, we are given a nums array and we need to find the length of the longest arithmetic subsequence. So first, we will see what is subsequence in this problem. So we need to find difference between two elements in the array. So here's difference between 3 and 6 is 3 and difference between 6 and 9 is 3 and difference between 9 and 12 is 3 as well. So we need to find the difference which includes most of the values in the given input, right? So here the value 3 includes every element in the input array. So we need to return 4 So because we have included 4 elements from the input array. And this difference can only be taken from the future values. So for example, if I am here, this is my eighth element, let's assume. I can only take difference in the future element. I cannot take difference between 6 and 3 like this, right? I need to take difference between 6 and 3 when my ith value is at 3, right? The reason why we are doing like this is that we don't have to include the same element multiple times right we don't repeat the values also assume if i have a value 10 in this array still i need to return 4 here right even though there is an odd number in this array we should ignore that still we need to take difference like we just took previously right that is difference between 6 and 3 and difference between 6 and 9 and difference between 9 and 12 right so here we need to ignore 10 so somehow I need to keep track of the length that I have seen until my ith element, right? So I'm going to use hash table to solve this problem. So now we will see how we are going to do this. So here I will be writing two loops where I will start from the first element as my i pointer. And the second loop that is the j pointer will start from i plus one element. So in this case, i plus one is the first index. So we will make j pointer pointing to 6 right so i will take difference between 6 and 3 so difference between 6 and 3 is 3 so i will make my key as the current j pointer that is 1 here j is pointing to the first index and the difference the current difference is 3 then i need to check using my i pointer index that is 0 and the difference 3 so this indicates whether I have seen a difference of 3 before my i pointer. That is whether we have seen the same difference of 3 before my i pointer value, right? So in this case, we haven't seen the difference yet. So we will assign 1 to this key and we will add 1 to it. That is, we are including 3 and 6, right? So, we are including two elements. So, we are making it as 2 here. So, I will show you guys the effectiveness of storing J pointer as my index and the difference that we have taken as my key, right? I will show you guys this particular usage as we go through the example, right? So, now let's continue. So, I have to move my j pointer now now i need to take difference between 3 and 9 so we are going to get 6 then we will store the j pointer index as my key and the difference right and then we need to check whether we have the i pointer and the difference in my dictionary whether we have seen a difference of 6 until my i pointer so in this case we haven't seen so we need to assign 1 to the current key and we will add 1. So the reason why we are adding 1 is that we are including 6 and 9, right? So we are including two elements here. Then we need to move our J pointer. Now we need to take difference between 3 and 12. So we are going to get 9. Then J pointer and the difference will be the key. Then we need to check whether we have the combination of i pointer and the current difference that is 9 we don't have that yet right so we need to include 1 
as my key then i will add one to it so here we are going to get two so now we don't have any other element for the j pointer so i will make my next element as my i pointer and then the rest of the elements will be my j pointer now so now my j pointer will start from i plus one element right so now we are going to see the effectiveness of storing the j pointer so now my i pointer is pointing to six right so now we need to take the difference between six and nine so we are going to get three so we need to take the current j pointer that is two and the difference is three and now comes the important part we need to take the i pointer index value that is one and the current difference that is three so this represents until my i pointer so now the i pointer is pointing to six so until six what is the maximum length i have seen so far until my i pointer with a difference three so until my i pointer i have seen the difference of three with a length of two in the array that is i have seen two elements previously where i took difference of three right so we pick this element that is 2 and we are going to include this 9 and the reason why we are not including 6 is that we have already included 6 here that is when i took the difference between 3 and 6 i included the 6 right so we don't have to include it again so we just have to include 9 only right so we have to add 1 to it so here we are going to get 3 and we will store this 3 as my value to this key right so here we are going to get 3 then we need to move our j pointer now j pointer will point to 12 so the difference between 6 and 12 is 6 and what is the current j pointer that is 3 and the difference is 6 then we need to use the i pointer index that is 1 and the current difference is 6 whether we have seen this or not in this case we haven't seen this combination yet so we need to include one and we will add one to it we are going to get two then i pointer will point to the value nine and j will start from 12. again difference between nine and 12 is three and the current j pointer is three and the difference is three then we need to check whether we have seen a difference of three until my i pointer so we need to check using the current i pointer index 2 and the current difference so in this case we have seen right we have already seen that so in this case we need to pick 3 that is until my i pointer including i that is until my i pointer i have seen three elements gave the difference of 3 right so this 3 is nothing but the length Three elements has been used right so we need to get that three and we will add one to it so the reason why we are adding one is that we are including 12 here so we are going to get four here then my i pointer will point to 12 and j is not possible here so we are just going to so we are just going to exit the loop so then we need to take the maximum between the values so in this case we need to return four so the longest arithmetic subsequence for the given input is 4, right? That's all the logic is. Now we will see the code. Before we code, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please like and subscribe. This will motivate me to upload more videos in future. And also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys. So initially, I will be initializing an empty dictionary. The first loop will be the i pointer and j pointer will start from the i plus 1 element, right? then we need to take the difference between the current j pointer and the current i point values then we will be assigning the j pointer and the difference as my key then if we have the same combination of the i pointer and the difference which is nothing but whether i have seen the same difference until my i pointer or not if that particular difference is not present we will assign one else we will take the corresponding length using the i n difference right and then i will add one to it that is i'm including the jth 
pointer element then finally i will be returning the maximum element from the values right that's all the code is now we will run the code as you guys see it's pretty much efficient so the time complexity will be order of n square and space will be order of n thank you guys for watching this video please like share and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos keep supporting happy learning cheers guys